People ask me, why do I spend so much time talking about salvation? And my response to them is, what else should I talk about? What else should I spend so much time talking about other than the greatest gift that we could possibly have for ourselves? We've been given salvation. And I don't know if you know this, but we, neither I nor you, earned it. There's a passage I want you to focus on and just I want to let, let it sink into you. In 1 Corinthians 5, 21, it says, for our sake, he made him to be sin who knew no sin so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Let me just break it down and help you understand what that means if you haven't given any thought to that. Remember, the Bible requires a debt to be paid on behalf of the sinner. Either the sinner can pay it or someone else can pay it. Well, thankfully, someone else pays it. And why does it say that he who knew no sin became as sin or was made to be sin? Not that he was sinful, but instead he was treated the way I should have been treated. He took on the role, the responsibilities, all of the things that are incurred because of my sin. So let's make it even clear. He, that's God, made him, that's Jesus, to be sin. What does that mean? In other words, he treated him as though he was the object of sin, as though he committed all the sins that I created. Now he's going to be treated like I should be treated on behalf of me. And so here we have a truly innocent individual paying a debt for me. On the cross, we have God in flesh who has come, who's holy, perfect, spotless, who's paying a debt that some horrible, corrupted, vile person like me or you should have been there. In John 1, he's speaking of Jesus as he sees him. He says, look, the Lamb of God who comes to take away sins of, from the world. In other words, he is going to be what the Bible required, a sin offering. Just like we see in the old covenant atonement, there was a sin offering, a propitiation of payment of a debt that the people did not have to pay. And all they had to do was to trust in the offering that God accepted it in faith. And the Bible says that person would be in right standing, which is why the Bible says that he who knew no sin became sin. Look what it says, in order that we might become the righteousness of God. All we've got to do is place our faith in him and then we become the righteousness. That's why I speak about this so often, because if we are the righteousness of God, meaning we are in right standing before God, you need to understand what that means. That means we're not going to be taken out of right standing. He makes us to be in right standing now because the debt was paid. The debt was paid by a person who had no business as far as we're concerned being on the cross, but he got there because of love. He was so loving that he didn't just pay the debt for me. He paid it for you and for anyone else who would simply place their faith in Christ. And so you want to know why I speak about him so much, why I speak about the gift of salvation so much, because there's nothing else worth talking about.